is hello in Chinese and welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you one of my favorite and my husband's favorite Chinese fried rice and today I'm going to be putting chicken in mine but you can leave it without any of the meats. I'm going to go over the ingredients with you. The very first thing you're going to need is some white long grain rice. You'll need two eggs. You'll need some scallions, some green scallions. You'll need a green bell pepper and an onion and you'll need chicken uh, I bought a rotisserie chicken if you want you can leave it without meat and you're going to need some oil and you're gonna need some soy sauce some pepper I've got black and white pepper and you'll need two garlic cloves minced okay the very first thing you're going to have to do to make this right is you're gonna have to cook the rice it's one cup of rice to two cups of water and so I've already cooked the white rice and it's been setting it's kind of warm and so I'm just going to put it into a dish and get it ready for all the other ingredients so we've got the rice there and we're going to set it aside and we're going to start cooking all of the other ingredients. We're going to have to put a little bit of oil in the pan and I've got a small pan here and I've got it on maybe I'm going to put it on medium and just swirl it around just a little bit. I put actually probably put a little too much, but it's fine. This is a really good oil. And you're gonna get two eggs and you're going to just scramble them really quick. <clears throat> and you're gonna, after you scramble them really good, you just put them in the pan and we're just going to cook them like scrambled eggs. Only we're not gonna do it too, um, too well done. We're gonna do it lightly well done. And I'll be right back. Okay, it's already done. And you just want to get your, um, I'm going to turn the flame off. And you just want to break this up into like little strips. Just really quick. Um, because it'll be in little uh, sections. You're actually just going to drop it right on top of the rice. And we're going to leave it there. And the next thing we're going to get started and we're going to put a little more oil, a little tiny bit more oil, and we're going to saute the bell pepper. I've got a fourth cup of bell pepper here, and I've got two um, garlic cloves minced. I'm going to put that in. I'm just going to saute this lightly just till they get soft, and we're going to put an eighth cup of onions all of these were diced very um, finely. You want them diced very finely. We're just going to saute them for a couple of minutes and that is going to be it. And we'll be right back. It's been about two minutes, two and a half minutes and it's nice and soft. So now all I'm going to do is actually just prop it in the pan there. If you could see how beautiful. Oh, I wish you could smell in here. It smells so good. And we're gonna set that leave that there the next thing is going to be the wok and I'm gonna put that on kind of a high because we want to um, just saute the chicken I'm using some chicken here you can boil a chicken and dice it and cube it or you can just buy a rotisserie chicken or you can put pork because pork fried rice is very uh, popular but I'm gonna use chicken because I was gonna try to do a healthier uh, version of the fried rice. I'm just gonna put a little dash of oil maybe under under a teaspoon and I want to roll it around and we just want to let it get hot just for a little bit and I do have it on high in this wok but you don't actually need a wok you don't need one so you can just use a Teflon pan. So I'm going to just throw the chicken in there and we're just going to actually toss it around and it's on high we're just going to toss it around lightly 
and we'll let it sit there for about um, maybe about a minute and then I will show you what we're gonna do in one minute okay. so I actually just sauteed it for about a minute you're gonna go ahead and put one tablespoon of soy sauce we're gonna start with one tablespoon because you might want more soy sauce I mean it just depends on your preference some fried rices are very dark and some are not so I just stirred it around we got a little bit of soy sauce in there we're gonna actually toss it in here and we're going to actually um, mix it up here and we're gonna start mixing and you're gonna see how beautiful this is gonna turn out we got a fourth teaspoon of black pepper and we got a fourth teaspoon of white pepper and I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up and you're gonna see how beautiful look at that how beautiful and I'm gonna mix it up and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna to top it with some scallions so it's all done it's all mixed up together it looks beautiful and smells wonderful I actually just put another little dash of some soy sauce and you can add more if you like but I just added the one tablespoon and maybe another dash. So I've got it plated up here and this is the topping you're gonna want. It's little scallions are just the, um, the topping you wanna put on top of these. I got three scoops and you can serve it like this. I'm gonna actually fill this bowl up when you order it at the Chinese um, place. They come and give you a big bowl like this and so I'm gonna fill this up. Let's see if I can get it all in here. And this is probably a good uh, four to six servings, I'd say. Um, but this is just a big, this would be something how you would get it like an a la carte, if you ordered an a la carte. Uh, and this is chicken, so it's a lot healthier. My husband loves pork, but I didn't do pork uh, this time, I did chicken we're doing healthier for January so then you would just top it with some scallions look how beautiful this looks how beautiful and this is the garnish you'll put and then I actually got these chopsticks from San Francisco and you would normally eat this with chopsticks but guess what <laughs> I'm actually just gonna try it with a spoon and I'll let you know mmm so delicious you have to try this um, I'll be right back with the scripture of the day I forgot to tell you I have to tell you one thing when I cooked my white rice I did put half a teaspoon of salt um, this recipe doesn't really call for a lot of salt at all but it's gonna be on your preference because the soy sauce has sodium and so it makes it a little salty so just be careful um, you don't have to put this in the white rice or you can but I did add half a teaspoon while it was cooking so um, it looks wonderful and I hope you try this and let's go right into the scripture of the day today is Psalms 512 and this is one of my favorites surely you bless the righteous you surround them with your favor as a shield know that this is a promise from God that you are surrounded with favor as a shield and thank you so much for spending time with me today. Make sure you try this recipe and share it with friends. I think it's a pretty healthy recipe for January. And I will see you next time with another very healthy recipe. Bye and have a good day.